Hey everybody, this is Nemo and welcome to day two of the new Press the Shop 101 series. So if you missed day one and you have no idea of what Press the Shop is, then head over to that video before watching this one. So as we are supposedly new to the software, let's get confident with it. And uh, of course, nobody wants its website to look exactly like other people's ones. So let's start off by customizing our PrestaShop 1.6 as a first step. I will go to the back office here and uh, with uh, PrestaShop 1.6, uh, there is a very first necessary thing to do um, uh, as a first step, which is disabling demo mode to get rid of all this fake data displaying, uh, displayed in the dashboard. Then uh, PrestaShop 1.6 comes with a really cool feature called Live Configurator, which you can use to make uh, some basic changes to the default theme. So let's see how it works. Click on my shop here and uh, you can see this Live Configurator as uh, long as you're logged in as employee and visit the front office by clicking that link. So, uh, as you can see here, you can use uh, this panel to do some basic modification to the theme like uh, swapping colors and uh, changing the font used for headings. Uh, so let's, let's try something, I will perhaps choose this one, no, uh, yeah, okay, this RNG one seems decent and uh, I will just leave the default font. And of course, remember to hit save here once you're done with modifications. But now, uh, have a look at the logo here. It's, uh, it has a white background and uh, this is because the logo is in JPEG format. Now, uh, to allow transparency, we need to uh, enable PNG format. So back to the admin panel, I will go to preferences, images, and uh, scroll down and you can see here image quality. Now uh, it's using JPEG, always JPEG. Um, my recommendation is if you want to use transparent images, uh, check the second box here to use PNG only if the base image is PNG. Uh, because uh, PNG is um, a lot, uh, weights a lot more, so uh, it might fill up your available space if you use too many images. Okay, so I will save here. Then to themes, so preferences, themes, let's have a look at logos. So scroll down here, ignore these now. Scroll down here and you can see we have a bunch of different, oops, sorry, uh, different logos. We can set up, uh, the, for example, uh, we can set up a logo, a specific logo for mobile, uh, an email logo, invoice logo, and these are useful in case you use a, a dark template, for example, and you have a white logo which will obviously vanish to nothing uh, if, if seen in emails or uh, in an invoice. So uh, I created a small test logo, so let me try it out, and uh, open, scroll down, and uh, as for uh, the other um, options here, uh, navigation pipe is ignored as far as I know for now, and uh, the email color is ignored as well, so we can just ignore them for now. Okay, so let me go back to the front office, refresh. And yeah, uh, it's a bit off, but uh, okay, that's pretty fine for now. Oh my, that looks... But okay, uh, let's have a look at uh, a fancy new feature introduced in 1.6. It's now possible to change the number of column of your store uh, directly from the back office. And uh, so let's close this one and go back here. Um, from uh, the same page uh, here uh, from uh, where... Uh, uh, change the logo, you can see we have responsive, default left column, default right column. Uh, right now, I believe these default stuff uh, are not used. So, well, let's click edit and see what PrestaShop has for us here. So, why can we ignore those? It's because we have sp uh, page specific settings, and this is just 
amazing. So uh, you can see we have left column, right column for basically every page here. So uh, let's try and enable the right column on a category first. So enable just as a safety precaution here. Let me save again. One never knows. So now in the front office, I will click on dresses. And look, oop, where is our right column? Uh, well, uh, don't freak out. This happens because there is no module hooked there yet. And what is a module? Well, in Presta Shop, um, <clears throat> sorry, modules are uh, like plugins, uh, extension, whatever you call them. Uh, so they add new functionalities to the store. And uh, for example, uh, this is uh, a module here. This is the category module. Uh, we have a layer navigation, uh, new products, and whatever. Uh, we will have a look at modules specifically uh, in day six, I think. As a side note, uh, if you want to boost your store with new modules, I have uh, a website, store.nemops.com, where I sell and give away for free press shop models. So if you want to check it out, store.nemops.com. Anyway, uh, how do we add uh, one of these modules to the right column as we need now? So it's really easy. So let's grab one we have already. For example, the store locator one. Why not? So let's go to back office modules positions. Again, we will have a deeper look at modules later. And now get transplant a new model here. Choose the store locator one and transplant it to, now this might seem complicated, or really complicated, but it's really not. Uh, it's display right column. Okay, uh, you can also set up exceptions, so uh, if you don't want to display this module on a specific page, but again, we will cover this in a later lesson. So now in the front office, let's see if it pops out. And uh, yep. There is, so we now have a uh, three columns layout. But hey, you might be thinking, oh my God, do I have to do this every time I, I wanna move something? Well, no, uh, luckily, no. <laughs> PrestaShop has uh, another feature called Live Edit, and you can use this to move things around quite easily. Uh, for example, uh, let, let me reach the, that category page again. And if you just want to swap positions, for one of these modules, you can simply grab one here and move it. See, really easy. Uh, and then, of course, save. Close. Now, please notice that uh, you cannot move everything everywhere. So, for example, uh, I'm, I, I believe this categories block cannot be moved here, right? You can see here, if I try to, to drop this here, I can't. Uh, as there are some default positions per module. So if you if you need the catalog, which is a layer navigation block, uh, here you can't. And some things like the top menu, search one, uh, some things cannot be moved uh, using live edit, but no worries. Uh, there are some ways to do this, but uh, at a development level, so they're uh, overly complicated to be covered right now. Well, so uh, I believe we covered the basics of how to configure Presta Shop uh, at a basic level. In the next video, in day three, we will see how to deal with Presta Shop categories and products. So, as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.